Okay, look at this question here. We have to find the value of this given limit. Okay, limit x tends to 0, root of x plus 1 minus 1 divided by x here. What do we do first? Let's try substituting. Let's see what we get. So when we substitute x tending to 0, so then it becomes root of 0 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 1 or rather divided by 0, which further is 0 by 0 indeterminate form. Okay, so we have to do something about this. Get rid of 0 by 0 and unmask the actual answer. Let's do that right away. How do we start? So, we have limit x tends to 0. Denominator is x, okay. Numerator is root of x plus 1 minus 1. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll rationalize, okay. So, here there is root of x plus 1 minus 1. So, I'll rationalize it with root of x plus 1 plus 1 in the numerator and the denominator. Okay. So, in the numerator, you can see one a minus b into a plus b forming directly. Okay. So, this can be further written as limit x tends to 0 a square minus b square. So, that is root of x plus 1, the whole square, minus 1 square. Okay, that is a square minus b square divided by x into root of x plus 1 plus 1. Okay, root of x plus 1, the whole square. Look at the, look at the numerator here. Root of x plus 1, the whole square is x plus 1 only, right? It's nothing but x plus 1, all of this. Okay, this minus 1 is here plus 1, minus 1 cancels out. What are you left with in the numerator? You are left with plain x there. And x is tending to 0. Now you can understand why you got 0 by 0 in the first place. Okay, you couldn't cancel out 0. Alright, so x tends to 0. x is not exactly 0. That is why we are able to cancel them out here in the first place. So then we get this answer as limit x tends to 0, 1 by root of x plus 1, plus 1. Let's substitute x equal to 0 now. Let's see if it's still indeterminate, right? So then this becomes 1 by root 1 plus 1, which is equal to 1 by 2 here. All right. So now understood what we did. So we saw that we had an indeterminate form 0 by 0. So we tried the method of rationalizing here. Okay, the numerator had to be rationalized. We did exactly that. Once we rationalized the numerator, it cancelled out with x in the denominator. Okay, that removed the indeterminate form and I get my final answer directly as option D, 1 by 2. Got that? Okay, in this question, we need to find the value of this given limit. Let's start. So here, we have x square minus 25 by x square plus 2x minus 15 when x tends towards minus 5. We, this is what we need to find here. Okay, so we'll try to factorize what we have. We see a quadratic in the numerator and the denominator. Hopefully something will cancel out. All right, because when I put x equal to minus 5, let's see what we get. Let's substitute. Substitute x equal to minus 5. What do we get? We get this as 0. What a coincidence. This is 25 minus 10 minus 15, which is again 0. All right. So we get a 0 by 0 form here clearly. All right. So 0 by 0 form. The actual answer is hidden. That's what it means. Now we have to do something to remove the 0 by 0 form and unmask the actual answer. Let's do that. Okay. So for that reason, we notice that the numerator denominator are both quadratics. Let's try to factorize and see if anything cancels out. That's the idea. Anyway, I'm getting 0 by 0. Okay. So then I will get this as limit x tends to minus 5 into x square minus 25 can be written as x minus 5 into x plus 5. And the denominator here, x square plus 2x minus 15 can be written as x square plus 5x minus 3x minus 15. So this can be broken down into x plus 5 into x minus 3. Okay, 
x plus 5, x plus 5 cancels out. x is tending to minus 5, x cannot be exactly minus 5. That's why we can cancel them out. And notice that we have gotten rid of the reason we were getting a 0 by 0 form. This x plus 5 in the numerator and denominator. This was the reason why we were getting 0 by 0 in the first place. Get rid of that and we'll get limit x tends to minus 5, x minus 5 by x minus 3. Okay, when x tends to minus 5, this comes out to minus 5 minus 5, which is minus 10, and minus 5 minus 3, which is minus 8. And this further comes out to 5 by 4. And that's it. We have concluded this question. What did we need to do? Factorize it, get rid of the reason why we are getting this indeterminate form. Simple. Okay, the reason was x plus 5 in the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so we got rid of that, cancel them out. And then we got the final answer as option C, 5 by 4. Got that? Okay, in this question, we need to find limit x tends to pi x cos x. Start. So here we have x cos x as our function. Now, there are two terms here, like there's an x and there's a cos x multiplied with each other. So if you want to find the limit of something, limit of a product, you can break it up into a product of two limits. So if you have to find limit of f of x into g of x, basically you can write that as the product of two limits, limit f of x into limit g of x. Okay, so that's the idea I'll be using here to solve this problem. So this will become limit x tends to pi x into limit x tends to pi cos x. All right. Now, look at the first limit. Limit x tends to pi x. That's pi, right? Just replace pi with x. Okay, pi for x. And then we have limit x tends to pi cos x. What does that come out to? Clearly, that should come out to cos of pi here. Alright, when you're putting, substituting directly, there is no indeterminate form that's coming out. Nothing to worry, this will be the limit. So, what is cos pi? Minus 1. So, that's it, guys. We have our answer here, minus pi. The key to this question was splitting that product into a product of two limits. Okay, limit of a product can be written as a, can be split into product of limits. Alright. So now we'll mark a final answer, minus pi, here is option C. Got that? Okay, look at this question here. We have to find the limit when x tends to pi by 2 here. 1 minus sine cube x divided by cos square x. Let's look at this. Alright, so when x is equal to pi by 2, suppose we just push the value in, let's see what we get. We get 1 minus 1 cube divided by, what is cos pi by 2? 0. Oh wow, here we go. 0 by 0 form is what we basically got. Our first look gave us 0 by 0. We have to do something to get rid of the 0 by 0 and uncover the original answer. Okay, so here we go. Limit x tends to pi by 2. 1 minus sine cube x. I will write that as 1 minus sine x into 1 plus sin x plus sin square x. That, that is nothing but 1 minus sin cube x. Okay, divided by cos square x, I will write in terms of sin x now. Okay, that's the neat little trick I'm going to do here. Cos square x, I will write that in terms of sin x like this, 1 minus sin square x. Oh wow, look at the denominator, 1 minus sine square x. The numerator, you see this 1 minus sine x lying there, it should click on the spot. In the denominator, you have an a square minus b square formed, okay, which can be broken down into a plus b into a minus b, okay. What should we do next? x is tending to pi by 2. Okay, so cancel out 1 minus sin x. 
Okay, once we cancel out 1 minus sin x, let's try putting x equal to pi by 2 here to see if we still get something indeterminate. Okay, so let's put x equal to pi by 2. Okay, we are substituting directly. We get 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. This comes out to 3 by 2. Okay, and that's it. We have arrived at our final answer. In this question, what were the steps involved? What were the steps involved in this question? 1 minus sin cube x, I wrote that as 1 minus sin x into sin square x plus sin x plus 1. And this denominator, I wrote that as 1 minus sin x into 1 plus sin x. 1 minus sin x, 1 minus sin x cancels out. Whatever remains, put the value directly into it to give, to get 3 by 2 as your final answer. Got that? Okay, look at our question here. We have with us limit x tending to 0, 6 power x minus 3 power x plus 2 power x minus 1, divided by 10 power x minus 5 power x plus 2 power x minus 1. Okay, there is some pattern here. We'll find that out. All right. So it's based on this, how we'll solve this question. So here, what can we do? Let's just put the values directly, no? Let's put the values directly first. x equal to 0. What do we get? We get the numerator as 6 power 0, 1, minus 3 power 0, 1, plus 2 power 0, which is 1, minus 1 as it is, divided by 10 power 0, minus 5 power 0, plus 2 power 0, minus 1. Okay, here we go. We have our 0 by 0 here. All right, this is 0 by 0. This is indeterminate. The correct answer is masked. We have no idea where it is. What do we do? We'll have to solve. We'll have to do something to remove this 0 by 0 and see what the actual answer is. Let's do that. Okay, so L is equal to limit x tends to 0. This 6 power x. Okay, 6 power x. I will write that as 3 into 2 raised to x, which I can further write as 3 power x into 2 power x. Got this? Okay, so this becomes 3 power x into 2 power x minus 3 power x plus 2 power x minus 1. I'm sure you can see what I'm getting towards. Okay, if you're not, just hold on, you're almost there. So 10 power x can be written similarly as 5 power x into 2 power x. Okay, minus 5 power x plus 2 power x minus 1. Oh my god. Okay. So what do we do here? Limit x tends to 0. Take 3 power x common. Or rather you can see from this that this breaks down into 3 power x into 2 power x minus 1 plus 2 power x minus 1 divided by 5 power x into same 2 power x minus 1. Wow. 2 power x minus 1. Okay. 2 power x is common everywhere. Clearly, so this becomes limit x 10 to 0, 2 power x minus 1 into 3 power x plus 1 divided by 2 power x minus 1 into 5 power x plus 1. Okay, now what will we do? Obvious, 2 power x minus 1 we will cancel out. And when you put x equal to 0 for 2 power x minus 1, you are getting 0. Basically, you identified the cause for the 0 by 0 to happen and you've taken care of it. Now what will we do? We'll put the value of x equal to 0, see if it is still indeterminate, right? Let's check. So this becomes 3 power 0 plus 1 by 5 power 0 plus 1, which is 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 equal to 1 again. All right, the final answer is simply equal to option D. 1. Okay, so once you break this question down into 2 power x minus 1 into 3 power x plus 1 by 2 power x minus 1 into 5 power x plus 1, that's it. Cancel them, cancel 2 power x minus 1 out and put x equal to 0. You'll directly reach your final answer. Option D, 1. Got that?